I'm Pete LePage, one of the product managers on the Internet Explorer team. At Microsoft, we know you're concerned about online safety and privacy. It's also one of our most significant concerns. That's why we continuously monitor trends out on the World Wide Web and evolve our approach to provide you with features and options to help protect yourself. Since you use the browser to access the Internet, we've packed Internet Explorer 8 with more industry-leading features to help protect your privacy online. Other browsers either don't offer you this level of protection or require you to separately download and configure third-party add-ons to get the same level of protection. Let's take a look at a couple ways Internet Explorer 8 helps to protect your privacy. Internet Explorer 8 helps put you in control of your privacy by intentionally separating the address bar and the browser search box. We've optimized the address bar to help you get to the sites that you want to visit. We've also optimized the browser search box to help you find what you're looking for quickly and with confidence. By keeping these boxes separate, your privacy is better protected and the addresses of the sites you're visiting aren't automatically shared with Microsoft or anyone else. To see how browsers share your information, I'll take a look at two examples, Internet Explorer 8 and Chrome 3.0, both with their default settings. Let's start with Google Chrome. On the top half of the screen, you can see I've already started Chrome. The bottom half is a tool called Fiddler. It shows us all of the web traffic between our computer and the Internet. As I start to type an address into the address bar, Fiddler shows that for nearly every character I type, Chrome sends a request back to Google. I haven't even hit enter yet to load the website and Google is already getting information about the domain and sites I'm visiting. Now that we've seen Google Chrome and how it sends every character that you type into the address bar back to Google, let's take a look at Internet Explorer. As I start to type an address into the address bar, Fiddler shows that nothing is sent to Microsoft and the traffic list remains empty until I hit enter. Then, Internet Explorer only pulls the information from the website I've requested and nothing is shared with my search provider. A new feature called in-private browsing helps protect your privacy and data while surfing the web. When using a shared PC like a family computer or in an internet cafe, you may see information left behind by the last user, or you may leave traces such as your browsing history, cookies, and other data from sites that you've visited. You can start in-private browsing by opening a new tab and clicking on the Open an in-private browsing window link. Internet Explorer 8 will then launch an in-private session as indicated by the in-private label in the address bar area. As long as the in-private label is in the address bar area, in-private browsing is helping to prevent the unintentional disclosure of your information. I've highlighted just some of the ways Internet Explorer has been designed to put you in control of your privacy. By choosing to use Internet Explorer 8, you're backed by Microsoft, a company that makes your privacy and security a priority so you're better protected online.